that lighting? Jesus, there's a reflection coming off this building over here behind you. Yeah. It's lighting this whole side up really nice. Anyway, welcome to the new video. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty simple video that we're doing today. Um, got a small amount of time downtown, golden hour, perfect. Um, I want to get three shots, three, give or take three shots. So shot number one, architecture. I want something with these buildings. It doesn't have to be the most exciting thing, but I want something to show scale and maybe a little bit, a little bit of perspective. Uh, second shot, I want something with the shadows. I want, a, I want a big contrast between shadows and highlights. So something, maybe a silhouette or a long shadow or, or something along those lines. Uh, and shot number three, if I'm able to, uh, just some someone, just some humanity, a little bit of uh, street photography, if you know, the basics. You know, something, maybe someone walking across the street or something, maybe someone like sleeping on a bench or something along those lines. Just something with a person in it that tells a little bit of a story. Okay. I got a couple hours, there's still a bit of light left, so I'm pretty confident. Uh, we're gonna take these photos, we're gonna edit them and put them at the end of this video. So you're gonna get a chance to see them before I put them on Instagram. Yeah, let's get started. All right, so right now you're looking through the uh, 10 to 18, the super wide. Uh, I'm shooting on the 7D Mark II, by the way, if you, if you couldn't figure it out by now. Uh, but yeah, I think I got all my uh, angular, my architecture, my shadowy kind of shots. I have at least four, maybe five that I'm pretty confident in. We'll see how it goes. But we are running a lot of light and I still need to get my, my standard street photography photo. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for either someone crossing the street in the sunset, that's one of these streets or or like something, just something with someone in it. And I'm gonna swap out to the 28 to 135 for that. All right, I gotta go. I've already trailed behind, everyone's left. I'm here by myself. Oh God. I think we're at ISO 3200 right now. That's, that's kind of pushing it. So no more video. We're going to end what I have right here, right now, on this really, really awesome parking garage. I mean, it's a gorgeous site. It's a little warm, but but still, I mean, the colors, the colors are so nice. Um, we're going to wrap it up here, and I'm going to meet you back at the studio where we'll work on these edits, or at least go over the edits. Pretty confident I have three good IG shots, um, all that I'll put up at the end of this video that you will see before I post on uh, Instagram. Let's, uh, let's meet back at the studio. Okay, we're back. Different day, a little bit colder. Don't like that. It's gonna make going out just a little bit more annoying for me because I just don't like the cold. I'm not a cold person at all. I like the heat quite a ways more. Anyway, have my edits done. I do all my IG edits on Lightroom Mobile. 98% oh, of my edits for my personal IG on, on Lightroom Mobile. Any work stuff that, you know, paid gigs and such gets done on Lightroom Classic, just because I need the structure and organization. I need to keep track of all my work files and such. Anyway, let me bring these up on the phone right quick. I will put them here, this side. Bring up the phone. So first off for my architecture shot, I got these really cool buildings right on the, the intersection of, I can't remember what street I was on, but it was right in the intersection where there was some train tracks and two different um, major roads. By saying major roads, I mean, you know, four-way stop kind of place. Um, I really like the two kind of ominous other buildings looking in on this giant center building that I was on. The thing that I really, really like the most out of it, all of this is just the reflections coming off that center building that happened in the main focus of the, of the photo. 
I really like reflections. If you follow me in IG, you probably see I kind of go overboard with the reflections, but it's just right now, at this particular moment, I really, really dig reflections. My second shot right here is my kind of extreme, extreme contrast photo. It's a, of a dart just leaving the station and I have the sunset coming in just past the dart. So it's really dark kind of everywhere else, but there's this sliver of light plus this extremely awesome lens flare. I know some people will hate lens flares, but I, in moderation, I really, really like them. Plus, if you kind of zoom in, there's a little bit of a, like, I don't know what to call this, like a honeycomb, almost like a gridded little, it's this little tiny speck of lens flare that has this really unique little pattern that I don't normally see. I have no idea how I got that. I don't know what it's coming from. I don't know if it went through something or or what. I just have no clue how it how it sh how it shone through. Shone through? Shine through? A word like that. But I really dig it. I really like the kind of the, the extreme darks and the overbearing like o overblown whites that are in well, the sunburst there. Really cool shot to me anyway. And the last one was the standard these standard kind of street photography shot. I kind of had to camp out for just a few moments here. Nothing, nothing drastic. I wasn't there for hours or anything like that, but I was there for a few minutes. And that is of this guy here crossing the street with the two trains leaving at just about the same time. Uh, I missed one person walking by. I missed the second person. I didn't time it very well, but the, the third guy, this would be the third guy right here. Um, I managed to fire off about five or six within a, you know, second or two of him walking right by me uh, and this one being the one that made the cut. Yeah, it's pr pretty standard kind of low point of view, high contrast, perfect golden hour shot in my opinion. I love seeing these kind of shots on Instagram and, and just different people's interpretations and takes on the same kind of pedestrian crossing the street during sunset uh, photo. And that's it. That's my three shots from about two-ish hours, probably a little bit less of uh, shooting, of, of focused shooting anyway. If you want to see these photos on Instagram, I will leave my Instagram in the link below, or it's at the end of the video, and or just go to Instagram, search for me, Blues Violet, just Blues Violet, just like everything else. All right, that is gonna do it for today's video. Um, had a blast. I usually have a blast when I go out to shoot, especially with a big group of people. We had about four folks that we were out there shooting with. Golden Hour is just, in my opinion, one of the easiest times to get, or one of the best times to get photos. Everything's kind of, I don't want to say easy, but it's almost like shots just kind of present themselves. You can sit on a corner for about 20 minutes or so and just let people in the world kind of pass you by and then just fire off and get these, what I think are amazing shots just because of the lighting, the contrast, and depending on where you are, just the story that you can just sit and let that unfold in front of you. Let me know what you thought of the photos. If you want me to do another video where I go walking, maybe not golden hour just, just yet, but maybe I can do another one where I go out at night, which I tend to do a lot of, just a little bit harder to film because, you know, tis dark, or maybe I should go out super early. Um, one of those. Uh, let, let me know if you want to see something like that. I'll keep making these. This is kind of my first foray, foray into it. Other than that, you guys know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube stuff that, uh, helps my channel grow in increments. All right guys, I will see you in the next video probably sooner. Took about a week off there. So stay tuned for the next video in a few days. Yeah, okay, bye.